Morning, Sonia. Sonia, good morning. In the voice, how many characters will look like? How many characters will that? See ya. See ya. Don't give it up. Hello. Bada. Just like he is still on the way. Hmm. So I'm going to calm down now. Yeah, yeah, down lock lock. Mask. Thank you. Is that? You are a landing mate, eh?
Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Smile, Kanti. Hi, Sonia. Hi, Hi, Good to see everybody. Good to see everybody. Can watch it on YouTube, but get dressed. <laughs> <laughs> I hope she's not undressed, Kumu. <laughs> she's still in. She's still in his towel, okay. <laughs> she's still in his towel. <laughs> Hi, Rasa. It's my Kanti. Hi, my Kanti. At least we have seen each other after a long, long time. <laughs> Good to see you all in church. <laughs> Hello, friends. Uh, can you see? Uh, we, are, we are experiencing some difficulties here. Uh, uh, and I'll be sharing a new link for the YouTube. I think there is a slight uh, change in the YouTube link. Uh, so I'll be sharing a uh, uh, new uh, uh, link uh, for the YouTube. Uh, please share it with anyone you have shared right now. Uh, we will be starting at 7.45 uh, exactly. Oh, thank you. Okay. 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 Thank you. Okay. Uh, make it me. St. Michael's group. St. Michael's and all angels. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Sharon. We are starting at 7.45. Yeah, yeah, I just heard that. Good. Reading the salutation. Me, Today, Sherry. I know, Sherry, and I can. Today, breakfast is provided by the Carmel, uh, Carmel Street uh, community. Jean? I had to ask Father. I thought Jean was providing the breakfast from the Carmel Road for fraternity. No, no, that is for Vigila and Sharon. They are the that is from, That's on Jaila, no, they can't. Yeah, they are the experts. <laughs> Breakfast experts or IT experts? Breakfast experts. <laughs> uh, they, they, they are gone off the link. You don't want to mention that. <laughs> are they vanished at that time, no? Exactly. Exactly. Just them off. <laughs> <laughs> Roshan, you are on mute. Unmute it. Yeah, but when Roshan. the show starts, you have to mute. You're yeah, mute. we have to mute. Yeah, I think we should mute. Other than when the things come. Are what are you eating? We are beyond mute, I think. Once it starts. We haven't started now the service. Ah, yeah. right. yeah, so what are you <laughs> eating? <laughs> so Kumu, Kumu's quickly copying her breakfast. <laughs> no, no. This is not breakfast. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> ah, this is your snack before breakfast. Yeah, pre-breakfast. -break, pre 
Ah, they are VG and Sharon. Ah, VG and okay, well, Sharon, where is the breakfast? <laughs> I'm going to have my morning coffee. Oh, my God. So late? No. Uh. Mm -hmm. Ah, Rashi is here. problem, so it's starting at seven forty five. Hi, Sharon. I feel still locked down. I think they can't. Uh, they can't hear. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, they didn't respond at all. Yeah, yeah they are, but their speaker is on. They vanished. Right? The thing is, they scared them off. They already started saying that they're going to give the breakfast. And... No, I think I went to make it. No, no. I must they have muted. Yeah, yeah they, they become muted. Yeah. Speakers are not. I, I, my, my, speakers my... are not on, I think. Yeah, yeah, mic is not. Mic is not out. Because they are, they are not responding, no, to whatever yeah, we yeah. say. Uh, oh. Sharon and Vijimati are mute. They have to unmute it. No, they, are, they have unmuted, but no, I think they unmuted. Are, yeah. the mic is uh, not working. Mm, they have unmuted, but they can't hear what you're saying. Uh, and phone and ask, tell them. This, I, then they have to press internet audio. Whatever. The yeah, key is also there. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Devaraj. Hi. Hi, hi. Balan, are you there? Balan, there's a notice behind you. I see Balan. Balan is muted. There's, a, there's no one there. Oh, you are a cuckoo. Uh, we are here waiting for you to start. Hi, guys. Ah, uh, good. Hi, guys. Hmm? Hi, hi. They are connecting, no? Not constant. Mm. Mm. I can see the cells. Yes, you could have. I called Sharon. They are uh, trying to fix it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, no, yeah. They are there. Yeah, yeah. Ah, there, there. It's saying connecting to audio. Yeah, right. Now, uh, uh -huh. now it's very. <laughs> and now they, they have, uh, have to unmute their speaker if they want uh -huh. to. Speak. Sharon, uh, uh, unmute. Unmute your uh, screen. Ah. Uh -huh. Can can this? Where am I? Huh? I can't see myself. Can't hear. Hello. 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 Hello.
Okay. Hello, can you hear me? Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Can I speak to see? Sharon, say hi. Yes. Uh, all okay. All right. I think it's all right. okay. Ah, okay. Right. Sharon's all right. Hello. Can you? Hello. 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 Oh. Ah, Jack is here. Just. Hi, hi. everybody yeah very clear thank you yes kingston kingston is up in the morning vika 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 is muted in the way vika is coming at 7:45 it's starting at 9:45 can you 7:45 time is service starting 7:45 ah that's it that's it how yes i'm waiting for the service oh, no, it's at 7:45 huh yeah yeah that's another connect huh they're talking to each other they're waiting for the service ൂബ്ൂബ്ൂബ്ൂബ്ൂബ്ൂബ്ൂബ്ൂബ്ൂബ്ൂബ്ൂബ്ൂബ്ൂബ്ൂബ്ൂബ്ൂബ്ൂബ
not in isolation anymore anyway <laughs> yeah uh, fathers come it's from the slfp convention so children behave the teacher is here <laughs> i've been listening to all your chats <laughs> i think it's a it's a good opportunity for everyone to have a little chat that's very healthy yes <laughs> and we are maintaining social distancing also <laughs> by kilometers not by you come on yeah kilometers that's right uh, father now the the other record record pre recorded thing will also be up is it yes yes uh, no no uh, it will be up after the service because we are recording this yeah. we will record this and that will be uh, shared after the service yeah that's right ah, yeah. So is, it, is it is it not necessary oh, to uh, record and send now send you now Uh, no uh, sorry is it not necessary to uh, uh, record the the readings and send it to you uh, no so next time you oh, have to have to no you have to uh, but i am i am wondering whether we could have the readers okay. live on zoom next time that rather right. than that, recording that that's yeah. difficult not everybody has zoom so that's difficult so for next time shall we get some of these people who are already here to do the readings so since they have by gone all, through they will all, be going through this experience by yeah. all means father then it will let, let us off the hook it yeah and, and, and that will that will give that uh, the hook. <laughs> yeah that is what i was actually expecting from this kind of service where we have more interaction and that we are lively engaging yeah. in the service Yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah, we'll try. We'll try. We'll try. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So, but anyway, so maybe that, uh, that for uh, Kumu for security, say like uh, for emergency, we will get the recordings also done. In that case, uh, if things don't work out, we can play it from here. <laughs> <laughs> Double work for you. Ah, okay. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Now, now, Malkanti will get on to that, and then uh, okay. next next week is Mother's Union. So Malkanti will tell the people here. Who has to read, right? Yes, of okay. course. Okay. Yeah, right. And All they right. have to come on Zoom to I share, read it uh, when it comes to them. Yeah, I am. Okay. I am taking. I am making a note. Thanks, Kumu. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, Benda, are you there? Yes, father. Uh, Vanda, now we are about to start. Uh, so, friends, uh, when we start, uh, uh, every all, right. all your mics will be muted. Yeah. Uh, let me give me give you some few simple instructions before we start. Uh, all the mics will be muted. Uh, when it comes to singing, you will see the slides, so you can uh, join in the singing, but you will not be heard by others because. Uh, on zoom it's difficult to sing together because there is a delay so uh, we will have to sing on our own but you will hear it being sung on your screen uh, and uh, also uh, uh, when it comes to responses please respond uh, uh, at the end of the service we will open up your mics for a simple chat to see how things went okay, okay. Okay. So not, we will not, not uh, allow you to interact when the service is on. Uh, okay. Okay. Got it. <laughs> you want us to mute? Ah, uh, Bishara, our sounds. Uh, you want us all to mute? Is it? No, no, no. We will mute you. We will mute you and keep you muted. All right. Uh, and uh, we will uh, open up at the end again for you all right. to uh, have That's a little fun. chat. Yeah. Father, you are muted now. Actually, we are we are uh, doing some final checkup uh, before we start the run. <laughs> ah, okay. You see, muted. and so is wonder we have a we have a big team working behind the screen some I'm remote sure. some in office so yeah. we have to get everybody in place to start
Okay, uh, welcome everyone. Uh, I think it's a pleasant day after a long time we are all meeting together and we pray that uh, God will be with us. We will start with a little prayer uh, so that uh, there won't be any disturbances and God's hand be with us as we start this all the, this whole operation. It's almost an operation <laughs> with which actually produces a service. We'll pray that God will be glorified in the at the end of everything. Let us bow our heads in prayer. Dear Lord, we thank you, Father, for this opportunity. We thank you for this technology and the possibility of uh, making use of it. We pray as we try our best to make the best of it, that you will be glorified and that you would give this opportunity for us together as a community to worship you together. In your precious name we pray. Amen. Welcome and a good morning to all of you. We formally begin the service now and we pray that we will have a good experience with the Lord and with each other this morning, meeting virtually but uh, in person. Uh, I'm sure God is present amongst us. The Lord be with you. And do this. Understanding the present time, the hour has come for you to wake up from your slumber because our salvation is nearer now than when we first believed. The night is nearly over. The day is almost here. So let us put aside the deeds of darkness and put on the armor of light.
let us all join in the singing may we all join in confessing our sins Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought and word and deed, and in what we have left undone. We are heartily sorry and repent of all our sins. For your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ's sake, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. May the almighty and merciful lord grant unto you pardon and remission of all your sins time for newness of life 
and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Gracious God, our Deliverer, awaken our hearts to prepare the way for the return of Christ, your child, in glory, to judge the living and dead, that with minds purified by the grace of Christ's coming, we may serve you faithfully with hope all our days through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Chapter 64, verses 1 to 9. Oh, that you would render the heavens and come down, that the mountains would tremble before you. As when fire sets twins ablaze and causes water to boil, come down to make your name known to your enemies and cause the nation to quake before you. For when you did awesome things that we did not expect, you came down and the mountains trembled before you. Since ancient times, no one has heard, no ear has perceived, no eye has seen any God besides you. Who acts on behalf of those who wait for him. You come to help of those who gladly do right, who remember your ways. But when we continue to sin against them, you are angry. How then can we be saved? All of us have become like one who is unclean, and all our righteous acts are like filthy rags. We all shrivel up like a leaf, and like the wind our sins sweep us away. No one calls on your name or strives to lay hold of you. For you have hidden your face from us and made us waste away because of our sins. Yet, O oh Lord, you are our Father. We are the clay, you are the potter. We are all the work of your hand. Do not be angry beyond measure, O oh Lord. Do not remember our sins forever. O oh, look upon us, we pray for we are all your people. Psalm 80, reading from verses 1 to 7 and from 17 to 19. Give ear, O shepherd of Israel, thou that leadest Joseph like a flock, Thou that dwellest between the cherubims, shine forth. Before Ephraim and Benjamin and Manasseh, stir up thy strength and come and save us. Turn us again, O God, and cause thy face to shine, and we shall be saved. O Lord God of hosts, how long wilt thou be angry against thy, the prayers of thy people? Thou feedest them with the bread of tears. Thou givest them tears to drink in great measure. Thou makest us a strife unto our neighbor, and our enemies laugh amongst themselves. Turn us again, O God of hosts, and cause thy face to shine, and we shall be saved. Let thy hand be upon the man of thy right hand, upon the son of man whom thou madest strong for thyself. So will not we go back from thee? Quicken us, and we will call upon thy name. Turn us again, O Lord God of hosts. We cause thy face to shine, and we shall be saved. Reading is taken from 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 3 to verse 9. 
Grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I always thank God for you because of his grace given you in Christ Jesus. For in him you have been enriched in every way, in all your speaking and in all your knowledge. Because our testimony about Christ was confirmed in you, therefore you do not lack any spiritual gift as you eagerly wait for our Lord Jesus Christ to be revealed. He will keep you strong to the end so that you will be blameless on the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. This is the word of the Lord. Let us bow our heads in prayer. Dear Lord, may the words of our mouth and the meditations of our hearts be acceptable in your sight, our Lord and Redeemer. Amen. Recently, I had a 
unique experience well it was not a very pleasant experience but i would call it a very awesome experience i was coming out of uh, the vicarage gate uh, and i saw two buses parked in on the road as if there were two alien spaceships there were two uh, there were few people dressed like aliens in white standing out there and what i encountered was that they have come to take some people from the area to isolation camps and hospitals it was a very why i said it was a awesome experience it was uh, not that it was a, a happy occasion but it was filled a moment filled with fear and a moment where uh, hope and fear have uh, are, are joined together these people were very sad children were crying because they were sending a, sending away their dear ones and they didn't know where they were going uh, like when people are sick they are take we usually take them to a hospital and we look after them we will visit them but now these dear ones are unable to go with them but they know that this is the only hope for them at this point that they be sent and i was wondering what they were try they they must be experiencing i know it was a very difficult experience for them and so was for me because here i was i was not in my uh, kasok i was in civils they didn't identify me because my face mask and i was in civils but i had to do what was required at that point as a servant of god i had to think what jesus would do at that time and i was trying to befriend them i was trying to talk to them i was trying to get involved in that conversation with them so that i could actually give them a little bit of hope and a little bit of encouragement keeping my identity behind because i knew if my identity was revealed that conversation will not be natural and people will start talking different things but this conversation continued to be very neutral and natural because i remained a civil person amongst them so i in this difficult times as we look forward to the hope that god has given us or the hope that god invites us as we enter the period of advent it's like the sky we are blue these days because it reminds us of the skies where it is endless our hope is endless limitless because in god we believe in a god who has no limits no boundaries his love extends to everyone so i had to share what god would want them to hear at that point and all that i could do was to just simply engage in their conversation and remain a civilian remain vulnerable amongst them i just couldn't walk away i simply had to uh, risk it if i was to be exposed to any viruses but i had to be there with them i think this is what the church is called at this time this crucial time that we are going walking through journeying through as a world buildings are no longer safe places i know most of us miss gathering in the church building but now buildings have become seriously a risky place to be in because because closed uh, places have a higher tendency to spread the virus so we are restricted from coming and gathering at buildings but no one 
stops us out there. God's nature is still prepared to cure us, to give us that atmosphere that is required for healing in body, mind, and spirit. Because out there, though we are supposed to stay indoors, I would advise that we remain indoors. I don't want you all to walk all around. We'll be breaking rules and we will be uh, uh, creating uh, uh, unnecessary risk for others and yourselves. But certainly get out to your garden. And when there are many people, maybe even to go for a walk and try to engage and share God's love with people who uh, need care and love at this time. So why I said the environment, the God-created God nature is equipped to heal us in body, mind, and spirit. If you ask a doctor, and even as you know, as it is shared on media these days, the things that can actually keep us from falling sick is washing, water, God's creation, and clear breath, oxygen that is freely available outside. And also, uh, uh, the distancing, not so, so, so much social distancing, but physically distancing, which gives enough, which, where there is enough space outside. We did not gather here and uh, come uh, as a very closely physically uh, gathering. Whereas we, we will be more engaging with each other if we are out there. So it is important that we spend time with our loved ones and also look at our society, the village that we live in and see to the needs. There'll be, there'll be people who are quarantined, there'll be people who are isolated, see to their needs because this virus will not jump in onto you unless you are really uh, share the things that they touch and, and, and share a very close relationship. So whatever said and done, this new experience teaches us that things as we are used to can change. And when changes happen, it is our duty to adapt. And God wants change to happen amongst us. And as we do our readings these days, you would have heard the reading, especially the gospel, that things are going to change. Nothing will remain the same. Everything will change. And that is our expectation. That is what we look forward to. And why not we prepare for change at a time like this and see how we could actually extend God's love to people who really need love in a new way not in the traditional way that we have been uh, communicating all this time, God's love. We need to find new ways and means of communicating God's love now. And also a second very important thing that we are experiencing is the senior members are unable to come out. With all due respect to all the seniors who are joining here and uh, who, have actual, who actually play a very important role in the church, I think it's now time for the young people to step out because the young are less vulnerable. The young are more safer to go out there. So if we have young people listening to us today, remember it is your call now to take over the responsibilities of the church and God's mission because you are called now to go out there, take that risk because you are less vulnerable and God wants you in action right now. So we, in this new normal, let us keep our eyes open, let us keep our ears open and let us try to learn because it also gives us a lot of time to spend in learning the word of God. The tempter will come and tempt us in this new normal. We need to be equipped with the word of God to face this new normal. So let us see how we could equip ourselves so that we'll be ready for anything that comes our way. So remember these three things. The first, 
we can still worship god we can still meet each other out there not so much in here secondly the youth the young are called for mission and ministry at this time in this new normal and thirdly we are called to learn and be equipped with the word of god so that we may have a time uh, where we share god's love in a new way in this new normal may god help us and bless us to share god's hope during this time of advent and as we approach and await the coming of the lord may god help us and guide us to do the same shall we spend a few moments in silent prayer dear lord we thank you father for what you had to tell us this morning we thank you for revealing the change that is required we thank you father for giving us that experience in advance to wait for you in hope in trying times and changes that happen around us help us to go out into the world when we are not supposed to meet inside and help the young people to take that challenge when they are called for duty in the new normal in our precious name we pray amen few announcements today is advent sunday and beginning of another new calendar year for the church it is a year this the the year is dedicated for the gospel of saint mark the shortest gospel in the bible and we are calling our parishioners especially the adult fellowship is calling our parishioners to a challenge a challenge of reading the bible reading the book of mark in 17 days so if you are interested as we look and wait for the lord's coming you can join this group and read the book of mark in 17 days before christmas and also at the same time and also if you are interested in that you could get in touch with ravi navaratna or me or any of the members of the adult fellowship and also we have a bible study happening every wednesday in the evening at 5:30 where we have started the book of the study of the book of revelations uh, we are at the very beginning and we could even share the two lessons that we have already done on uh, video form uh, for anyone who is interested in joining and if you are interested in joining sir again you can Uh, either get in touch with niru fernando or with me uh, where we could share the links uh, and you could join us for a one hours bible study every wednesday and also we are trying to keep in touch with you through whatsapp that the church whatsapp group and also uh, the sms uh, messaging system that we have started if you are not receiving messages please inform the office we need to put get you into the list Uh, and also i know not everyone is away, uh, is has the facilities to get in touch through these uh, mediums but if you know of such people again please let us know because they are the people who really need attention at this time and you are also called to be disciples at this time sharing god's love with such people if they are in your vicinity and if they are in a area we are unable to reach but please keep us informed of such people uh because we need to know their struggles we need to pray for their struggles and if possible we need to engage in their in their sufferings and struggles and also we uh are tra- 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 planning to uh share what we have with people who are really struggling at this time uh financially Uh, due to loss of job or loss of various other uh, income forms of income uh, so we have just uh, in the uh, at the moment we are sharing we have started sharing with people uh, we have received names to are really who are going through real struggle we would like to know such people and also uh, the church 
actually has no source of contributions these days don't think that i'm trying to talk about money but certainly uh, we are depending right now on 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 our ancestors who have left left behind uh, their resources but we need to pull in and try our best to help the community that we live in so those who uh, would like to make contributions you can certainly call tomorrow the office and get the uh, account numbers and also tomorrow on sms we will share our account numbers and also another way of doing it uh, not everyone is able to give uh, big amounts but those who are willing to share a collection on a sunday or uh, your uh, anything that you would like to share you could uh, the warden self suggested that we introduce a till you could have a till at home and put a collection uh, into that and permits you can come and hand it over to the church you need not mention names you need not have to put who is bringing what whatever you can contribute it will be a great source of uh, help for the social activities that are still continuing at church so remember some of the uh, activities that we do in church to engage in ministry out there are still continuing with the help of uh, those who are residing close by so uh, those who are unable to do so please you are welcome to contribute in money kind or whatever means that you could since we are uh, running out of time i will we will uh, uh, enter uh, uh, before we enter into the time of intercessory prayers yeah so sorry we will enter into the time of intercessory prayers uh, and we will have the video shared now God of all blessings, source of all life, giver of all grace, we thank you for the gift of life, for the bread that sustains life, for the food of this earth that nurtures life, for the love of family and friends without which there would be no life. We thank you for the mystery of creation, for the beauty that the eye can see, for the joy that the ear may hear, for the unknown that we cannot behold filling the universe with wonder, for the expanse of space that draws us beyond the definitions of ourselves. We thank you for the setting for setting us in communities for families who nurture our becoming, for friends who love us by choice, for the companions at work <clears throat> who share our burdens and daily tasks, for strangers who welcome us into their midst, for people from other lands who call us to grow in understanding, for children who lighten our minds with delight, for the unborn who offer us hope for the future. We thank you for this day, for life and for one more day to love, for opportunity and for one, may, one more day to work for justice and peace, for neighbours and one more person to love, and by whom be loved for your grace and for one more experience of your presence. In your mercy, We pray today for reconciliation and forgiveness in our own lives. Peace will begin with us and we ask that the change we all long so long for in the world would be present in our own lives and be an example to others. Lord, we ask you to help us to seek out opportunities to work for understanding and tolerance between people of different religious backgrounds, different social backgrounds, 
different racial and political backgrounds. We pray especially that religious views would lead not to bitterness and hatred between us, your children, whom you so love and with whom your patience and tolerance is boundless. We remember the example of the Good Samaritan who reached out to someone outside of his own religion and culture. May this example inspire us to go beyond our own comfort zones and help those in need, regardless of them being different to ourselves. Lord, in your mercy. God of all mercy and compassion, life and death are in your hands. Hear our prayer in this time of illness and infection, of isolation, fear and uncertainty. For the sick and those weighed down by pain, distress, loneliness and anxiety. For all who care for them, conscious of the risk they bear, and for those who have responsibility for public health and social order. Hear the cry of the afflicted and let them be comforted so that all who suffer may come to know that they are joined to the sufferings of Christ who gave his life for the salvation of the world, and by your blessing on them and those who care for them may be restored according to your will, to soundness of body and mind, and offer you joyful thanks in your church. Lord, in your mercy. We thank you, Lord, for the church of which we are members and for the Holy Spirit at work amongst us. Be with those who lead us in our worship of you. We pray your blessing on all who share with us in this church's life, that we may all grow in knowledge of your love. We pray that as a congregation, we may be aware of the needs of others. Help us as children of your family to respond to them by our understanding, by our support, and by the love we show them. Lord, in your mercy. God, we thank you for the men and women who serve our country in leadership roles and for their families. Please provide our leaders with reminders each day why they decide to dedicate their lives for public service and use that commitment to encourage them. Give them peace when their work takes them away from their families. We also pray especially for the wives, husbands and children of our leaders. We ask that you draw them, draw near to them and give them the wisdom on how to best support one another while their loved one is away working. Lord, in your mercy. Heavenly Father, we pray for those hearts that have been saddened by the death of someone close and dear to them. For members of our families who have died and whose anniversary we recall. Help us to experience the comfort of the Holy Spirit within us and the fellowship of the church family around us until we are reunited once more in your heavenly kingdom. Lord, in your mercy. Be with us, Lord, in the week ahead as we go out into the world. May the lips that have sung your praises always speak the truth. May the ears which have heard your word Listen only to what is good in our lives, as well as worship the always pleasing in your sight, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Beloved, let us love one another.
for love is of god peace be with you In the same way, let your light shine before men, that they may see your good deeds and praise your Father in heaven. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. But in keeping with his promise, we are looking forward to a new heaven and a new earth, the home of righteousness. of God which passeth all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you now and always. Amen. <laughs>
so we are happy that all of you were able to meet like this uh, since we are late for the next service uh, we will not be able to have a very long chat uh, but do join us again next week at the same time uh, and i'm sure we will be more uh, more uh, uh, better much better <laughs> in the uh, system uh, with the system next time when we meet god bless you all